Hey guys, I'm Jim. Thanks for coming back. This is episode 12 and the final episode in my Luminar AI tutorial series. I hope you found it useful or fun or something, but thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And in this last episode, I thought what I would cover is how to add a logo or a watermark to your photo in Luminar AI. I've been getting this question a lot because in Luminar 4, there were layers. And so you could just add the layer file, put it in there, blah, 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 and be done. There are no longer layers in Luminar AI, which you know by now if you've seen my previous videos, but there is a local masking tool that includes the ability to add a texture file, and that's how we're going to do that in this video. So for me, how I would start, and to be clear, I don't use logos or watermarks, but I know a lot of photographers do, so I wanted to cover this, and it's been a very popular question. So I would start in PowerPoint or Keynote if you're on a Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I'm in Keynote. Here it is. I've got a black background, and all I'm going to do is hit Option G. Let's see. This was a template that they had. Option G, which creates that little copyright, and then I'm going to type my name. And so there we go. I've got my name in a PowerPoint uh, slide, for lack of a better word, or a Keynote slide in the case of a Mac, and I'm going to move it down here to the bottom right corner. And what I would do next is just export this as an image. So I'm going to export as an image and I'm going to say next and I'm going to call this watermark and save it on my desktop. Okay, so after that, I am now in a photo and let's pretend, and I haven't, but let's pretend I've edited this photo completely and I'm really happy and ready to export. And the last thing I want to do is stick my watermark on there. So I go into photo, I go to local masking, which is down here in the bottom right hand corner. I click add and I click texture. And so all we're going to do is take that image that we exported from PowerPoint or Keynote and load texture and load that file as a texture. So I'm going to click load texture and there it is. I've already got it selected on my desktop. Click open and it drops it in on top, but you're thinking, where is it, Jim? Well, here's something I recommend. You, you need to zoom a little bit, reduce the zoom, and really what you need to do, I think, is experiment with where you place that logo in that PowerPoint or Keynote file, and I would personally create quite a few of them. I would move the, the copyright and your name or whatever your, your logo file is. I would place that in several different places, you know, maybe some vertical orientation as well as horizontal uh, or landscape orientation. And I would place it in different uh, locations around that image because depending on the camera and the sensor and all that, as well as the dimensions, it may or may not end up exactly where you want it. So in this case, I'm gonna reduce the zoom, which pulls that in, and I'm gonna increase the opacity so that you can fully see my name. And here's where you come in to advanced settings and you choose blend mode. And if you choose the light and blend mode, all the black background disappears and my white signature remains. Now that I've had that, I can move this a little bit and get that right where I want it. And if I want to, for visibility purpose, reduce the intensity of that, I can of course reduce opacity and it kind of fades into the background so that it's not as obtrusive or visible if you like it that way. For this purpose, I'm just gonna leave it at 100 so you can see it pretty clearly. But that's basically how it works. Black background, type in your logo file or whatever it may be, and then export and then add as a texture layer via the local masking tool in Luminar. To be clear, this is not the same, well, it's not nearly as capable, I should say, as when we had layers. It takes a little bit extra work, I think, and it's not perfect, but it does work. Some other ideas might be if you have a signature, you could sign that on a piece of paper and then invert that with the curves tool so that it's a black background with a white signature instead of a black signature on white paper. And then once again, export it as a JPEG or whatever, and then drop it into your photo that way. So just as an example, I'm gonna take the same signature and I'm gonna drop it over here on the other side and export this as well, export as an image. And I will call this watermark two and save it to my desktop. And now once again, I'm on my photo, I'm gonna add a texture and I'm gonna load texture, go to watermark two, here we go, and open that. And once again, I'm gonna reduce the zoom. There you go, you can kind of see it coming in. And I'm gonna increase the opacity and the blend mode goes to lighten and there's my signature file. Now again, in both cases, I had to change the zoom. So you, again, this comes down to the positioning of where you put that signature in the PowerPoint or Keynote file. So if I'll go back to Keynote, maybe it makes more sense to have it up here. And in fact, let's just try that. File, export, images and next, and this will be 
watermark three and now add texture and load texture and let me get back to my desktop and here's watermark three and open and there you go you see it's dropping in there now so again i can reduce zoom i can also increase zoom if you want to make it a little bit bigger and that's one of the challenges is you don't have the ability to change the size of that text so again it is a little bit more constricted if you will compared to how it happened in luminar 4 using layers but you can do it it just requires a little bit of extra work and i think experimentation to get the logo exactly how you want it and where you want it and to be clear it may vary photo to photo so i would create the signature file in powerpoint or keynote and save that as your template and then every time you need to try a different placement just move that signature around within that keynote or powerpoint file and then save it export it and try it here so that's how it works my friends again not the same as having layers not as flexible you can't resize the text you can't move it freely but you can add a watermark or a logo to your images in luminar ai that's how i would go about doing it hope it answers that question for you thank you for watching thank you for watching all my tutorials i'll be back soon with more stuff on luminar ai hope you guys are doing great take care of yourselves out there and adios